if you get this error in Enzo, which say DirectX 12 is not supported on your system, then in this tutorial, I will guide you on how to resolve this problem. So follow this tutorial very carefully. Now, the first step we need to do to resolve this issue, if you've added this command line, which is negative DX12 or negative D3D12 from Steam launch option, make sure to remove them. How do you remove them? Just go to your Steam. Now look for Enzo here on your Steam library. Right click on it and then go to properties. Now on the launch option here, make sure to remove them and it's blank. So make sure there is not any command line here. Now after that, try to launch the game to see if the issue has been resolved. Now if you've done so, but you're still facing again the same issue, which is direct X12 is not supported on your system. Now let's go to the second step, which is check your GPU for direct X12 support. So ensure your GPU supports direct X12. Now how do you check? Just press window plus R and type this DX diag and press enter. Now it will open the DirectX diagnostic tool. Now go to the display tab, look for the feature levels, check if DirectX 12 is present. Make sure feature level 12.0 or 12.1 is present. Now let's check here. Just press window and R. Now it will open the run application here. So type DX diag and click OK. It will open this DirectX diagnostic tool. Now select this display. Now go to the feature level here, which is DirectX here in drivers. So make sure to the feature levels here on the drivers section, make sure DirectX 12 is, prevent, is present. As you can see, mine isn't supported. That's why I'm facing this issue. So for you, make sure there is DirectX 12. If you don't see here DirectX 12, which is on the feature levels here is not listed, then you'll be facing this issue. So listen to this very carefully. Look for feature levels and check if DirectX 12, 12.0 or 12.1 is present. So make sure they are listed here. If they are not listed, then your GPU doesn't support DirectX 12 support. Now, if it doesn't support like man, Mine, if your GPU does not not support DirectX 12, you will need to run the game on DirectX 11 instead. Now, in the Steam Launch option, just type this negative DX11. This, this will force the game to run DirectX 11 instead of DirectX 12. Now, since mine does not support this, then I will just use this to force my PC to use DirectX 11 instead. So, copy this negative DX11. So, even if your PC does not support, so just try to do this. Go to your Steam Launch option. So let me cancel this, go to your Steam. Then on the library here, now right click on your game, which is Enzoi. Now go to properties. And then on the launch option here, make sure to write this like this, which is negative DX11. After that, cancel, launch the game and check if the issue has been resolved. Now, if you've done so, but you're still facing again the same issue. Now let's go to another step, which is update graphic drivers. If your GPU supports DirectX 12, but the error persists, update your drivers. So if your GPU supports DirectX 12, don't add this command line, which is negative DX11. Add this if your GPU doesn't support. Now, if it supports, make sure to update your graphic drivers. So if your GPU supports DirectX 12, but the error persists, update your graphic drivers. If you're using NVIDIA, download from the NVIDIA website. If you're using AMD, download from the AMD website. So make sure you update your graphic drivers. Now, if you've updated your graphic drivers, but you're still facing again the same issue, now install the latest DirectX version. Download and install the DirectX Runtime web installer from the Microsoft website. The link will be available on the description. After that, after that, restart your PC after the installation. So just go to this page here and then download this DirectX and user Runtime web installer. Download it, install it, and then restart your PC and relaunch the game. So this is the best fix for this issue here, which is in Zoe DirectX 12 is not supported on your system. Make sure to follow the instructions very carefully and let me know in the comment section if this tutorial has helped you.